What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for um, all signs, Capsu, Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Okay, you guys. Well, it's honestly a freaking a wonderful message for who this is for. Um, so, um, as always, only take the messages that resonate. One may resonate. Two may resonate. Two plus may resonate. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So, it's very important for you to tailor the free general collective readings to your personal situation or situations if it does apply. If it doesn't apply, you need to leave it for somebody else. Tar tarot is about energy. And, you know, as, as channelers, we channel in the energy. So, you know, you have to only take what resonates. It's not a personal reading, okay? Okay, oh, also to um, the daily, not the daily tea, the, um, just in 96, I will, um, I might start working on some of them today, um, possibly or tomorrow, because um, it's technically called up until the 24th, but, you know, everybody's on a different time of life has, but. It's technically caught up until the 24th, which is tomorrow, but I might start working on, on some of them today. And I have some of June of 2022's um, Oracle card readings for some signs already up and posted. If you guys want to check those out um, with your uh, to your viewing pleasure and liking, I would suggest everybody uh, check out their sun moon, at least their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs. Uh, and cross watchers are always welcome as well. Okay. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, uh, you are about, I heard you are not uh, focused on drama and um, drama and bullshit. You are about to focus on um, self-caring yourself, self-caring and growing, growing and manifesting yourself. And it's about to pay off in a huge way. That's what I heard basically. So you go with your bad self, whoever you are and how this applies. So you, you're you're not focused on drama and BS and he said and she said and um, you know conflict and um, unnecessary BS basically whoever you are um, you're not a BS kind of person I feel you are a um, you're a direct to the point get her done kind of person but in a positive copacetic kind of way like you don't feed into drama and gossip and and, and crazy crap. Um, I heard you're about to start focusing on self care and um, healing. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, self care and really, um, well, you could be focusing on healing for some of you guys, but self care and really um, growing and manifesting yourself. So, you know, that could be, to me, I feel that could go a several different ways. It could be, um, I feel weight loss in a healthy, copacetic manner. I feel exercising. I feel, um, Self-care classes, maybe you're going to do Pilates or kickboxing or um, or go get instructor uh, instructor license for in, um, Pilates or kickboxing or yoga or something like that um, or, or something of that nature. Or it could just be um, something on your body you want to heal or self-care or um, focusing on a new business or business idea or... Um, or something of that nature. Um, it's self-care. It's self-care. So I'm feeling like spiritual baths, maybe for some. I'm feeling spiritual baths or um, or um, bubble baths or um, just eating better or what have you. Um, focusing on yourself and staying out of the gossip, drama, and BS, basically. Um, whatever that is for you. I just gave you thoughts of what I thought it could be, but um, that's really beautiful. And, you know, if you have a partner, um, obviously, you know, building and growing that relationship, but I didn't hear that you did, but maybe for some you do, maybe for some, some you don't. I know there's a lot of singles, Pringle people on here, just like me. So um, you have to plug it into your own life, however that resonates, okay? Experiments that you have to collect it.
One of these people is about to make a very significant report soon to help out a fellow high vibrational pe uh, person. It's about to be very significant and very important and it's about to help in a huge way. Oh, wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys, I heard you're about to make a very significant report soon um, on a fellow high vibrational, uh, a report regarding a fellow high vibrational person. I heard it's going to help out in a huge way. It's going to help this person out in a huge, huge, huge way. Know this. Okay, I heard it. That's a confirmation. I think from Intuitive Kitty, he's laying on my bed. Uh, so I can hear him a little bit, but, um, whoever you are, you're about to make uh, a significant report, um, but it's about to help out a fellow high vibrational person. So whoever this fellow high vibrational person is to you and however they apply, um, but it's a very important, significant report. So I'm feeling an official report energy. Now, whoever, whoever you're going to report it to, there's a million different, um, entities and organizations and agencies you can report to. So whoever it is that you're going to report this to, only you know your story, not anybody else, but um, it's a, regarding a fellow high vibrational being. So you are a light side high vibrational being if this message applies for you. Um, and it's going to help this fellow high vibrational being. So I think you're about to report negativity other people have done to this high vibrational pe person is what I'm feeling. Um, or maybe um, somebody put this person in a harmful situation Maybe they um, stole from them. Maybe they sexually abused them, financially abused them, uh, mentally abused them, gang stalked them, placed hidden voyeur camera in their home or space or tracker device on their vehicle or what have you. Um, only you know what you're about to report um, and help this person out with and not anybody else, okay? You, I feel you can mask on a feminine. You have to plug that in, how it resonates, if it does resonate for you spirit messages you have reflected but i do feel like weight loss in here there's reporting energy to help out a fellow high vibrational energy in here i'm feeling weight loss i'm feeling um yeah protection wow uh weight loss and um self-care i'm feeling a lot of bath energy for some reason i didn't hear you're going to take a bath but i'm feeling bath energy for some reason i'm feeling bath energy <laughs> um it could be spiritual bath, it could be milk bath, it could be um, just long bubble baths. I am feeling bath energy and I love a bath. For anybody who doesn't know me, I love a freaking bath. And that's just the truth. Any day over a shower. Um, I do for many reasons. Um, single and in a relationship. Just saying. I love a bath. I do, I do, I do. Uh, but I do. I feel bath energy in here. I mean, only you know if you're going to take a nice bath or not, but I do. I feel weight loss. I feel, um, I feel goals. I feel goals here, um, is what I feel. Goals and inspiration and aspiration and action energy, um, is what I feel. That's exactly what I feel. We have stillness, transcending, and protection. Number 33, 33 28, or 24 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 33, 28, 24, um, this could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 33, 28, 24. Stillness, transcending, protection. Um, I also feel exercising. I told you guys that earlier, but I do. Um, I do. Maybe you're going to go hiking. Maybe you're going to go biking. Maybe you're going to go cycling. Maybe you're going to go kayaking. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, but I do feel positive energy here. Um, whoever you are and how this applies. It's really beautiful, my dear. Stillness. One of you is about to learn way more information than you wanted to know of the past very soon. It's about to make you take a step back. And for one, it's about to make you report. Help out a family. 
Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for at least one of you guys, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's about to make you, um, you're about to learn way more information of the past than you wanted to know soon. Um, whoever you are and how this resonates. Um, sounds like it's coming up soon. Um, but I heard after you learn this information, it's going to make you take, take a step back. So you're going to be still in this energy. You're going to take the step back and be still for a minute. Um, and basically, I think meditate and contemplate this information. It doesn't sound like it's nice information. And then I heard it's going to make you report. So report to help the family. Report um, this toxicity of the past, whatever it is, to help out this high vibrational individual. I feel they have a family because it's going to make you, I feel like, stop and be so shocked of what the hell you're about to learn that it's going to make you like shock and still in your tracks kind of energy with the stillness energy and reflecting pool it's going to make you reflect on the information that you're getting here um and i don't think it's pretty information and that's why you're about to help the you're about to make this very significant report to help this family transcending a huge awakening is about to occur here. Okay, I heard a huge awakening is about to occur here. So you're about to have a spiritual awakening is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. And let me tell you, you can have many spiritual awakenings in your life. Just because you have one spiritual awakening doesn't mean you're not going to have another one. Because trust me, you will. I've had many spiritual awakenings since I've been spiritual. Um, and I haven't been, I've only been spiritual for about five years now. About five years. Um... And five or six. So I've had many spiritual awakenings since I've become spiritual. Um, so, you know, just because you have a spiritual awakening now don't mean you're not going to have one in six months. But spiritual awakening energy is strong here. Um, transcending is the spiritual awakening energy. I think it's because you're about to learn this information for some of you guys. And sit back and be still for a minute because you're about to be so damn shocked of it. For some. Uh, for some, you could just be reflecting and taking a step back and figuring out your goals your aspirations, your dreams, organizing, planning, scheduling on um, on what you want to do with maybe weight loss goals for some, maybe exercising, maybe you want to go cycling, maybe you're saving up to buy a bike, whatever it is, whatever it is. Protection. Just know you're very highly protected when you make this very significant report, and this person is very highly protected. Okay, I just heard, uh, I heard, um, know that when you make this, this report is very significant in here. When you make this report, you're very highly protected, and the person you're about to help with this report, or family you're about to help with this report, because I heard family, and I heard a high vibrational person. So I feel it's a high vibrational adult with kids is what I'm feeling here. Um, that you're protected and they are protected too. So protection energy here, I feel it's dual energy. I feel it's spiritual protection and it is actual 3D protection is what I'm feeling here. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. I'm feeling their life slowed down with the stillness energy, but negative energies made it slow down intentionally and you're about to help it speed back up or help it go in some positive manner, whatever that is and how that applies in one's life. Um, that's really beautiful. I heard you're protected and they are protected. Um, so the high vibrational individual I'm feeling with children because I heard family and you are protected when you make this report. Let me see if I hear anything else. It's a very important report. Things will start moving very, very, very fast. Know this. Things will start moving very, very, very fast. Know this. So it sounds like when you make this report, things are going to start moving very, very, very fast. Um, now, like I said, whatever kind of report this is, um, but it's a very important report. I'm feeling very official reporting here. It's important and official and big, whatever it is, and however it applies in one's life. And one person is about to save up to buy a, a security alarm for their dwelling. 
Okay, and I heard one of you guys is about to save up to buy a security alarm for your dwelling. So that um, that's protection energy too. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Security alarm energy. You're about to save up to buy a security alarm, I heard, for your dwelling. So um, wherever you reside, uh, I feel you might own the home. Um, because if it was a rented space, um, and it, you know, obviously some of those already come installed, um, you, I, I wouldn't presume you'd be buying something to put on the home if you don't own it. So I think you own the home, um, or the condo or duplex or what have you, but I think you own it. Um, if this resonates for you, um, you're about to save up to put a security alarm on it. For one person, they're about to buy a security alarm package for another individual. Okay, that's beautiful. And for another individual, they're about to buy a security alarm package, I heard, for another individual. So a lot of security alarm energy in here. One of you guys about to save up and buy one for your space, or your dwelling, or your home, or your rental home, or what have you. And for one, um, you're about to um, buy, I heard a security alarm package for another individual. So in this aspect, protection is the actual physical protection of security alarm energy. I think one of you guys have been experiencing um, increased crime in your area, or you feel you're about to, um, however that resonates. Um, you either have been experiencing increased crime, or you feel you're about to, however that resonates. And for one, you know, someone completely left someone stranded, completely left them stranded financially and otherwise. And you are about to report this person, an abuser. Oh my God. And for one of you guys, you know of someone that left somebody completely stranded i heard completely stranded financially in other ways and you know they're an abuser and you're about to report them so um yeah i heard they left them completely stranded financially in other ways i just pulled poverty on the bottom of the deck they left them in poverty left them in poverty i heard financially in other ways so they're obviously an abuser if you you can abuse anybody in financial means sexual means um uh Mental means, physical means. Um, there's many types of abuse is what I'm trying to say. In this way, it was financial and probably the other ways too. We pull poverty on the bottom of the deck. Number 37 could be very significant too. We've got 33, 23, 24, 37. Um, but um, you know of this abuser. For some, it could be two plus abusers. For some, it could be one. But you're about to report them. I think to police or feds or um, authorities or something of that nature. Um, but you... A lot of reporting energy in here a lot of self-care energy and a lot of reporting i don't feel you're going to go tell everybody in your mama you made this report is what i feel oh my gosh you can't make this crap up and message number seven can be very significant number in your life as well number seven i think you're about to do it and i think you're not about to tell a soul i think you're about to do this strategically privately behind the scenes and make this report um to stay out of the drama and conflict 